a corner of Tuscany where nature, history, and art bring to life a landscape unlike any other in the world. Rolling hills, old medieval villages, vineyards, fields, castles, and monasteries. Val d'Orsha is a land of rare beauty where human activity and nature perfectly blend to bring to life a landscape designed to express the ideals of beauty during the Renaissance. For these reasons, Val d'Orsha was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2004. Val d'Orsha is the ideal place for lovers of slow travel to discover and get to know the land, people, culture, and history. Our farmhouse Potter Salicato is perfectly located to visit Val d'Orsha and all its beauties. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss the top things to see and do in Val d'Orsha, one per region. If you are new to this channel, don't please forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell icon. So without further ado, let's dig in. Montepulciano Montepulciano is a stunning medieval town perched on a hill between Val d'Orsha and Val di Chiana. Montepulciano has steep medieval streets, splendid terraces overlooking the surrounding countryside, beautiful churches, museums, and Piazza Grande, one of Italy's most beautiful squares. Montepulciano is also a wine lover's paradise. The town has a delicious red wine, Vino Nobile di Montepulciano, and both the wine and the food that goes with it are among the best in the country. The town is one of the richest attractions in the region and a great base for exploring the countryside and other villages. Pienza, the ideal town. Pienza is an admirable small metropolis in Val d'Orsha, well known for being UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as a great producer of a special type of cheese, Pecorino di Pienza. Pienza is lovely, and it has an exciting records really well worth knowing. Pienza is the area in which Inia Silvio Piccolomini, Pope Pius II, was born and all through his pontificate, he determined to remodel the metropolis to convert it into the perfect metropolis in line with humanist standards. To gain this end result, he has artists of the quality of Leon Battista Alberti, operating on the brand new metropolis format, and the end result is certainly wonderful. The metropolis has a lovely historic middle with small alleys with houses in the typical local stone, embellished with manicures, flower pots, climbers, and quite balconies. Restaurants and artisan stores are anywhere and the roads are filled by the tempting smells of Pecorino di Pienza, cheese, sold in many local delas and handmade soaps, also typical of this area. Radicofani and its stunning fortress. Val d'Orsha is full of beautiful medieval villages perched on steep hills, but not all of them dominate impressive castles and fortresses Radicofani does. Radicofani is a small medieval village that many people skip but has a very special attraction. First and foremost, it has a tall and imposing fortress which is now open to the public. The fortress made the city one of the most strategic places he in the ancient war between Siena and Florence. It is also the focal point of a story about Gino di Tacco, a type of native Robin Hood, also mentioned by Dante in the Divine Comedy. As well as the fortress, Radico Fanny has a delightful old Jewish quarter worth a visit.
Montalcino, Town of Wine Montalcino is a mountain village overlooking Val d'Orcia and a vineyard that produces Italy's most famous and delicious wines, Rosso di Montalcino and Brunello di Montalcino. Montalcino is a great place for any wine lover, and the region is the perfect place to stay for a day or more. The village has a beautiful historic center, and the town is literally surrounded by vineyards for visitors to taste and sell. In summer, Montalcino hosts a special wine and jazz festival. The main square is turned into an amphitheater, and live jazz music fills the summer evenings. Viewers can enjoy local food and wine while enjoying the show. Bagni San Filippo Bagni San Filippo is a small town in the heart of Val d'Orcia, famous for its natural hot springs hidden in a beautiful forest. The San Filippo Spring rises from Mount Amiata and forms a hot river with pleasant pools for splashing and bathing. The water here is rich in calcium, giving this place two special characteristics. One, the water itself is white-blue in color, like bathing in milk. For another, the calcium forms an incredible rocky white layer that makes you feel like you're bathing under a glacier. The most famous of these formations is called the White Whale, Balena Bianca in Italian, which is actually a tall rock formation that looks like a whale looming over you. So guys that's all for today's video. Are you planning to visit Val d'Orcia one these days? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends. Like and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out any of our latest updates.